Uh, good evening. Uh, whenever I'm asked to present an award to someone who's being honored for their philanthropic nature and selfless behavior, I'm always faced with the same dilemma. How do I make this about me? <laughs> um, I created Spin City when I was 26. S stay with me. Uh, <laughs> Still, I was, uh, I was only able to do that because I had an amazing mentor who recently passed away named uh, Gary David Goldberg. Uh, he often talked about the obligation we have as writers to uh, teach the next generation. And uh, no one has embraced that concept more than tonight's honoree, Jeff Melvoin. Now, just so you guys know, the Morgan Cox Award is presented to the writer whose personal sacrifice best exemplifies the ideal of service to the guild. And I look out in this audience, and I see so many people who will never win this award. <laughs> <laughs> service is a word that means doing stuff for other people. Um, <laughs> it's okay. I'm one of you. Proudly, uh, I just got here, I was coaching basketball. Uh, Jeff is just special, okay? He really is, if you get to know him. He's got an amazing family. He's got great credits as a writer and a producer. And everyone that's ever met him seems to love him. And uh, as intensely annoying as all that is, uh, it will not be his professional legacy. Um, 10 years ago, Jeff founded something that uh, is really important to me personally called the Showrunners Training Program. Uh, it's an amazing program that preps writers for the insane reality of running their own TV show. You gotta see him, Jeff tirelessly gives his time. He acts as a mentor and a teacher, uh, but I really believe it's even more than that. I truly think Jeff's given writers the tools to succeed and yet still somehow protect their souls uh, as they navigate the system. It's an amazing program. I implore you guys to help if you can. It's incredibly easy to get involved. You just gotta wave at Jeff and he'll relentlessly hound you. <laughs> so uh, I wanna give him all the time, which is rare for me. Uh, I present to you this year's Morgan Cox Award winner. He's the type of person who makes you feel bad about yourself because you don't do enough with your life. So uh, my friend, let's listen to him, Jeff Melvoin. Thank you so much, and thanks Bill, who is really a shameless liar despite his best efforts to portray himself as a self-seeking and selfish SOB. He is a fantastic teacher, and uh, he is one of many showrunners and fellow professionals who have made the showrunner training program such a success. In fact, there are a lot of guest instructors and alumni here tonight. I also see many members of the Writers Education Committee and the WGA staff who contribute so much. I thank all of you collectively, but there are a few people I need to thank individually. First, John Wells, who inspired me to run for the board in 2001 by his example. David Balkan, my friend who started the Writers Education Committee with me 12 years ago. Charlene Liu, who's been the committee's staff liaison from the beginning. And I should also mention MC Foley, who's worked with the showrunner training program after Charlene <laughs> dropped that. John Worth, my partner in crime since Remington Steel, who, who, thank you, and thank you on behalf of Michael Gleason, who gave so much to all of us who worked for him. John asked me in 1999 to help him write a WGA booklet about writing for episodic television. He saw a gap that needed to be filled as the, as the industry was changing, and that book was designed to fill some holes. That experience gave me the idea for the showrunner training program. The Guild's executive director, John McLean, championed the concept, 
Guild President John Wells, and I developed the formal proposal, and CBS President Les Moonves led the subcommittee of the AMTPT that funded it and continues to fund it, for which we're very grateful. Then, in an act of providence, Carol Kirshner signed on as program director, and Yvette Lee Bowser agreed to co-chair with me. I literally could not do it without these two remarkable ladies. This being Valentine's Day, and what a great day for an award show, I, uh, I particularly want to thank my beautiful wife, and I'm delighted that my lovely mother is also here to share in this moment. When I began to have some success in this business and was profile, profiled in the hometown paper, she said, you didn't mention me. And, uh, <laughs> I hope to make up for that tonight. Thanks for everything, Mom. My dad is no longer with us, but I know that wherever he is, with a trout rod in his hand, he's looking down on this with a big grin and somehow trying to take credit. <laughs> the 10th year of the showrunner training program finishes up next Saturday, and I've never been more excited by it. Sessions run from 8.30 until 4.30, and when they end, classmates linger, wanting to talk further. It reminds me how lucky I am to be a part of this business, and what a joy it is to work with not only some of the best showrunners around today, but with some of the best to come tomorrow. I thank the Guild for that opportunity and for this great honor. Thank you. Thank you.